Hi class, I'm Shlado Yafiz. We continue our class today on simple harmonic motion. And today we're talking about we are treating the calculations in simple harmonic motion as we've talked about the uh theoretical parts. Now let's start with, the, the, with some some useful formulas in simple harmonic motion. The first one is period. Period is equal to the time taken by the number of oscillation that it's that, that the body the body uh oscillates. The second one is frequency. Frequency is equal to one over the one over the period. The angular velo uh, angular speed or angular frequency is equal to two pi over the period or two pi half. A velocity of the simple harmonic motion is equal to omega half cos omega omega half cos omega t. And the uh, linear as a linear velocity is equal to omega in square root of a this part a square minus a square now velocity will be at maximum when the displacement is equal to zero so automatically when the displacement is zero our velocity will be equal to omega h which is the which is the amplitude or omega hat which is the radius anyone our oscillation is equal to omega square x sine omega t now linear oscillation is equal to omega square x now there's a force that the string Spring in simple harmonic motion is that a certain force from second second law of motion, which says that our f is equal to ma, and our h, as we said earlier, is equal to minus omega square x. So if you input it into the formula, now our f is equal to m minus m omega square x now. So and our m omega square is the same thing as our k, which is the spring constant. So if you input the spring constant into the formula, now our f now is equal to minus k. X. And if you study this formula very well, you will see it resembles Hooke's law. But in Hooke's law, we are having our force is equal to K E, which is the elasticity or elastic elasticity or, or the extension. But here now we're talking about X, which is the displacement. That's the, that's the, that's the major difference between them. And there's energy transformation in simple harmonic motion. The energy transformation, the total energy of exerted by a spring will be equal to this. Uh, exerted by the body will be equal to the potential energy of the spring as the spring is moving in, going out, moving in and coming back, or it's moving up and down, plus the kinetic energy of the block that is being attached to the spring. We have the two energies together. That's how we get the total energy in the in the in simple harmonic motion. And our potential energy is equal to half k s k, and our kinetic energy is equal to half m v squared. Now we can have our potential energy now to be half k x k cos square omega t plus x and you see that cos square omega t plus x that's the our acceleration and our, our and our but then kinetic energy will be equal to have mv k and our velocity is equal to omega square x now we're having half k x square cos square omega t plus phi plus half k x square sine square omega t plus phi so if you you know they're having the same coefficient now which is half k s square so if you bring it out cos square omega t plus phi and sine omega t plus phi yeah, is equals to one so one multiplied by half k s square we're having our total energy to be half k s square so so let's start with the, with, with the first first example now the example state that a block of mass m the mass we are given the mass which is 680 gram if you convert it to kilogram, we are having 0 0.68 gram. We are given the first constant, which is equal to 65 newton per meter, and are given, we are given the displacement, which is equal to 0 0.11 meters. So we are now asked to calculate the angular frequency from the formula. We said our angular frequency when talking about the vibration in in, uh, in, in linear simple harmonic motion. We say our our, our our omega is equal to what? It's equal to square root of k over m. They've given given us our k. They've given us our m. If we input it into into that thing, we are having 9.78 radian per seconds. So they ask us to calculate the frequency from omega is equal to 2 pi f. If you make your f the subject of the formula, we are having omega divided by 2 pi, which is equal to 1.556. Period as is the reciprocal of frequency you get that you get that wise as well that's what's calculated maximum maximum uh, uh uh speed our maximum speed is equals to omega xm and our maximum acceleration is equals to omega square xm so if you do this one now you see that you're using xm because that's the maximum displacement displacement by which that guy can reach that's the maximum displacement now the second question if the second question now the second question is a simple pendulum p oscillates now they are, we are now asked to calculate the period of oscillation of p, the length of pendulum p, and the uh, time taken for the p. So we are given the we've not they now said that the, 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 the period of oscillation for p, the period is equal to time taken over the number of oscillation. 
it oscillates 20 times and it uses 38 minutes so 38 divided by 20 we have our 1.90 they ask us to calculate the length of pendulum p so from our t is equal to 2 pi square root of l over g so we make our head so, so the formula we're having our light l is equal to t square over 4 pi square square g so if you punch your calculator you're having 0 0.914 meters the time of oscillation uh, the time to complete that oscillation is goes to from our period is goes to t over n if you make the time subject the formula you're having our time to be period multiplied by n which is goes to 57 seconds now the third question now a block of mass 2.72 times 10 to the power 5 kg is designed to oscillate with the frequency of 10 hertz and an amplitude of 20, 20 centimeter what is the total energy of the spring and what is the velocity of the words of the block when it passes through the equilibrium so we, have, we are given we are given our parameters from our total energy is equal to kinetic potential energy of the spring plus the kinetic energy of the block we have to calculate the total energy of the spring so you are not considered we are not considering the kinetic energy of the block now so we can't use the kinetic energy of the block out so which means our total energy is equal to half k s k that's what we are looking for and here we are not given our k so from we can use our k from m omega square so our omega is 2 pi f so which means m into bracket 2 pi f everything k. so if you point your calculator very well you have our k to be 1.073 times 10 to the power 9 newton per meter and total, total energy now is goes to half k s k which is goes to 1.073 times 10 to the power 9 multiplied by 0 0.2 0 0.2 Two zero meters. So, so, so you know we are we are, we are converting our uh, uh, our twenty centimeters back to meters. Now, and the speed. The answer the speed now. The speed when it's passing through the equilibrium. When it is passing through the equilibrium, what is our h? Our h is equal to zero. Automatically, we are not having potential energy that time. We are having only what only kinetic energy. So when we consider this guy now here, we are considering only the kinetic energy, which is equal to half m v squared. So we are we are look, we are have to calculate our v. So which means the energy we've gotten before is equal to half mv square now. So we've gotten our energy, which is equal to 2.147 times 10 to the power 7. So if we make our, our, our v, the subject of the formula, it will, it will be equal to v square. So you bring the guy here now. v square divided by... A v square is equal to 2.147 times 10 to the power 7 divided by 1.67 times 10 to the power 5. So our velocity now is equal to square root of 15 h, which is equal to 12.6 meter per second. Now, the last but not the least of the equations now. Next so that, a particle undergoes a simple harmonic motion with an amplitude of 5 cm and angular velocity of 12 uh, pi radian per second. Calculate the maximum velocity, the velocity when, it's rich, when it is 2 cm from the equilibrium, the maximum oscillation of the particle, and the period of the oscillation. So we are given those parameters, we convert those one in centimeters, we convert for them back to meters. Uh, given our angular velocity so from our maximum they, they ask we, we ask to calculate what the maximum velocity now maximum velocity is when our displacement is zero so automatically we are having v is equal to omega h so we have the displacement and we have the uh the amplitude we have our angular velocity so it will be 12 pi radian times 10 times 0 0.05 don't forget you are converting that 5 to centimeter maybe to two meters rather so our v is equal to 1.88 meter per second or 0 0.6 pi if you are not changing that pi to 3.14 and our velocity when it is two centimeter from the equilibrium which means we have any displacement in that time so we are considering v is equal to omega square root of a square minus sk so our s our a is five and our x is two so we are converting them back to to, to meters so it should be omega into square root of I hope it's our omega 12 pi in the square root of 0 0.05 square minus 0 0.02 square. So if you get a point of calculator, it will be 0 0.55 pi meter, meter per second. Or you can convert it. You can multiply it with 3.14. So also our maximum acceleration is equal to omega square here. So it will be 12 pi square multiplied by 0 0.05. You have 7.2 pi square. If, if you like, you can convert, you can change that pi to 3.142. Our period is, is equal to 2 pi over omega. So our answer is equal to 0 0.167 uh, seconds. Now, the simple harmonic, in summary, simple harmonic motion is, is when the restoring force is directly proportional to the displacement but in the opposite direction. Our angular velocity is angle turned. And, our, and the total energy is equal to half ksk in any point. So these, two, these three questions now, you can solve them and get back to us on that. And if you have any question, you can just get back to us 
or you send your answer your your, your assignment to gmail.edufest at gmail.com or submit it to, to the link thanks very much thank you